We have to understand what the state's coastline will look like 50 years from now is not what it looks like today. Between 2015 and 2016, Louisiana's coastline has lost land the size of a football field every 100 minutes. It's eroding fast enough for federal agency and state officials to declare it a national crisis. But what causes Louisiana to lose so much coastline so quickly? This is caused by a few main reasons. The first, levees. A century before we bought the Great Western River, the Spanish and the French built dikes to keep the Mississippi out of New Orleans at flood stage. In 40 years, we continued the levee the entire length of the Great Alluvial Delta. Geologists and geographers who've been studying the coast start with uh, the Mississippi River and its levee system. After the 1927 major flooding of the Mississippi River, the federal government decided that they were going to raise the height of levees, and that blocks off the potential for sediment-laced water getting back into wetlands. Without the Mississippi's sediment-laced water replenishing the wetlands, the areas could no longer keep up with the natural sinking of the land. The second cause of Louisiana land loss comes from oil and gas companies. It's been estimated that there are more than 10,000 uh, miles of canals that have been used for exploration and production of oil and gas along the coastline. When those canals are dug, salt water runs into the wetlands, upsetting the salinity balance and killing off the plants. There are some unintended causes of the loss of land as well. Invasive species that were introduced by humans, like nutria and Asian scale insects, feast on the wetlands. A family of nutria will eat uh, wetland grasses by eating out the roots. And when that happens, the first storm that comes along, man, that, that piece of wetland is just washed away. And finally, sea level rise is another large part of Louisiana's disappearing coastline. Wetland grasses have been able to keep up with the natural rate of sea level rise, but as the water uh, height uh, increases and speeds up, uh, that's going to be a problem for the, the wetland grasses to keep up. So since Louisiana is losing a football field of wetlands every 100 minutes, what will the future look like? There will be change, there will be loss. Uh, the question is whether we will be able to keep up with the rates, uh, especially of sea level rise caused by global warming.